Hello, hello! Welcome to Raw! Big fan, big fan. Really? Oh, everyone on the team is a long-time admirer. Ever since we got word last week. It's a quick pivot to squeeze you in, but we're used to things changing fast around here. Not a problem at all. Didn't think it would be? I'm Troy Simkin. Yep, I'm that guy. I'm sure you've heard the more established superstars mention their favorite WWE producer. I don't think I have. Hmm. Are you not mingling with your peers? That's kind of a must-do around here. Actually, we have several handy documents outlining all the unwritten do's and don'ts. Doesn't that make them written? But before we get sidetracked, what I was getting at is we already have a few ideas of how to use you. Oh, we'll be in touch. Do you maybe want to talk about some of the things I've been thinking or am interested in doing? Like I said, get settled. We're working on some ideas. Gotta run. Later, Cat. They actually call me Cap. Huh. Could have sworn it was Cat. Oh, well. We'll see where we land with the name. Welcome a superstar who defines tenacious, brave, and driven. The following is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from a holiday. The generation of Jade has begun. And I don't think it'll ever end. Cora Jane finds herself squaring off against a newly focused and mindful opponent in Cap. Yeah, I heard she's recently embraced meditation and is looking to reach an entirely new plane of wrestling out there. Well, her cheese may be aligned now, but after Cora Jane's through with her, I doubt they'll stay that way. Strong counter from Jane. Quick exchange, reversing the reversal. Reversal on top of reversal. Answer after answer for each other's offense here. Half and half suplex. Lights out. That seemed to have rocked Cora Jade's foundation. Yeah, but too soon to be worried. Into the corner now. Things went from bad to worse. Perched up top. Could be looking for a superplex. Maybe something more. This is going to be big. This is going to hurt. Avalanche Falcon. You really have to throw caution to the wind to even consider hitting something like that. Belly to belly! My goodness! Cora can't find a foothold in this match. Yeah, Jade has to find a response quickly. Oh, this is just establishing dominance, establishing control! F10 Face Buster! Oh, look at this! 
dropping the broken arrow. We might be close to the end. Yeah, she is not looking good right now. Wow, springboard attack. You can tell a fire has been lit inside of her. Maintain the aggression. Look at her stumble back up. Probably seeing double vision. Soaring. Fortune favors the bold. These risks could be a winning strategy. Oh, a sudden cutter. She's going for it. And this one is over. Here is your winner, the captain. So, sounds like Nikki's got you hooked on the Breath app, too? It did seem to help me in my last match. I like it. I'm not sure I'd say I'm hooked. Oh, you'll get hooked. The whole thing's a pyramid scheme. The meditation app? The one that trains you to breathe? That's how it starts. Before long, I was breathing all the time. Now that I'm nearly the diamond level, I don't think I could stop breathing if I tried. That just sounds like basic biology. But if it's bothering you that much, and you're really worried it's some sort of pyramid scheme, why don't you just quit? Oh no, let me be clear. I don't care that it's a pyramid scheme, as long as I'm at the top. Plus, at Diamond level, there are a ton of new perks. All I've got to do is sign up a couple more people. I know we're technically sisters of the breath, but if you try to cop any of my referrals, I will drop you. All good. I'm just in it for the breathing. You sound so gold level right now. Six fearless contenders are facing off apparently with meditation mastery on the line. You know, back in the day, I got in the ring for some silly reasons, but this one might tell me has been in the ring. Looks like someone hasn't reached Emerald level yet. Well, that's one way to leave the ring, I suppose. Aiden Carter has been eliminated. She goes back inside the ropes. Outside, no telling what they have in store now. Here is your winner, the captain. Have you managed to sign anyone up to the app yet? Or are you still just a fledgling Gasper? 
A what? No. I just use the app. I'm not into all the hunting for recruits and everything. Great! Then who do you know who might want to use the program? And will you give me their emails, phone numbers, addresses, and social security numbers, if you have them? Um... No. Come on, Cap. You're messing with my livelihood here. Your livelihood? You're a wrestler, last I checked. For now? But for how long? This could be my career post-WWE. A pyramid scheme? Take that back. You don't use those terms. Those terms are forbidden among the breathers. Who told you this was a pyramid scheme? You, a week ago. A week's a long time. I'm gonna get to diamond level, and now I understand the app's vision. Picture it, a world where everyone, everywhere, no matter their background or income, breathing. <laughs> Isn't everyone already breathing? Not properly. They don't know. The outsiders don't know the true power of the breath. Okay, I have to be honest with you. You're making this whole thing sound really crazy. If this is what the app is doing to people, I think I'm just gonna breathe on my own. Then I can no longer speak with you. I must sever all connections with outsiders because they are not one with the breath and therefore hinder my path to enlightenment and disrupt the harmony within our sacred community. You've severed all connection with reality. And I hate to tell you this, but you're in a cult. That word is even more forbidden than pyramid scheme. It is my sacred duty to defend my sisters of the breath. You and me, in the ring, now! Try not to pop every blood vessel before we even get there. Ava Moreno takes to defending the breathing community against Cap the Dissenter. Saxton, it might be time for an intervention. If you just use the link I sent. Let's keep our focus in the ring, gentlemen. Oh my, turn that around and spike them. Ouch. Ooh. Strong form. Reversal! Can she capitalize? Oh, elbow to the knee! That'll hyperextend your leg. Standing drop kick. Great ups. Ava struggling to defend herself. Ava's cage might be a bit rattled at this point. Clubbing blow. Very compromising position in a very precarious spot. Precarious position for both athletes. It's about to get worse for one of them. Oh, this is unique. Half and half. She's enduring some damage. down on the opponent. And now she's climbing to the top turnbuckle. Watch out. Boots up. Attempting high-risk move after high-risk move at a breakneck pace. Leg drop. And her resolve's looking unsteady here. She's been pushed into a bad spot for sure. Got it cinched in. This could be it. There's a small package driver. Cover. Two. And that's all she wrote. Here is your winner, the captain. We've got a breathtaking showdown as Cap tries to wring the last gas from a meditation app and Nikki Cross fights to breathe new life into its reach. 
It's embarrassing how a multi-level marketing thing has led someone to wanting to throw down over a lack of sign-ups. Well, that's just all. Take down, put over the cross, and she's able to make it to the ropes to force the break. Pivotal opportunity there just got denied by the rope break. Dangerous position here, guys. Oh, no, 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 Max no. suplex. Max suplex on the apron. Many a match has turned on that kind of contact with the apron. This could be a key moment in this contest. Held in a perilous position. Mention of the driver. Break that up. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. Uh oh. No! Carry drop! Imagine having to continue competing after eating the apron like that. Thrown out of ringside and back to the mat. Bring the leprechaun! Like a cruise missile. Oh, the moonsault connects. Didn't see a lot of that patented ferocity from Nikki. Got the full Nelson. Slam! Cross can't stop any offense coming her way. Cross is going to have to dig down deep here. Oh, using the knee as a weapon. Stomping. Ouch. Flattens the opponent. Continuing to brutalize their opponent's leg. The death lock is in. This is agonizing. The death lock is in. She's got it. Got her shoulders down. It's over. All in a nice work. Here is your winner. The captain. Nikki Cross falling short of the win. I'm not 100% sure Nikki is aware she came out on the losing end of this match. Whether Nikki knows it or not, she lost the match.